Hey, hey, hey! Welcome back to another episode of. Ah, no, no, make it, make it stop. No, ah, I don't want to. I'm good. I don't want to watch it. Uh, I'm your host, Fred Flintstone. But yabba dabba, don't call me by my actual name. And today we're gonna be looking at. Oh, what? Why, why do I have to look at this? Oh, okay. Today we're going to be looking at Mars Needs Moms. Now, I'm guessing that you probably haven't even watched Mars Needs Moms, but you've probably never even heard of it so here, here's some little here's here's some backstory so mars needs moms came out in 2011 and was produced by robert zemeckis or his rapper alter ego stage name bobby z now aside from slang tracks with his sick rhymes or directing some of the biggest movies from pop culture as well bobby z really liked his creepy stuff because Bobby Z founded this company, Image Movers, that create some of the creepiest looking stuff that my eyes have witnessed and now your eyes can witness it. Because what what movies am I talking about? Uh, Monster House, The Polar Express, A Christmas Carol with, no, the one with Jim Carrey, the better one as they like to call it, and uh, what, whatever this is. Um, movies that could just be animated normally, but instead they said, no, nah, let's uh, put some white dots on our actors and put cameras all around them. And, uh, then, yeah, then we'll animate it normally. Now, don't get me wrong. This way of creating movies is pretty useful and effective because it's used greatly in movies like the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies, as well as the Planet of the Apes newer trilogy, because you really have to capture a performance for something that's 100% not a real person at all. So it works in that way. And also movies like The Polar Express and Monster House, sure, they do look really weird and haven't really aged that well, but the look of the film does kind of help the charm of it as well. And it does capture some good performances, but hence how I said good performances because Mars Needs Moms doesn't have any of that. You didn't eat your broccoli. Is that broccoli? Broccoli. 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 And there's basically no reason why they shouldn't have just animated it normally. Because the main character of the film, Milo, the actor who plays him, you don't even get to hear the actual original actor's performance in Milo. Because the original actor was a 30-year-old man playing, playing a 10-year-old. Why? They were actually going to use the original actor's voice for the main character, Milo, but then just pitch it up higher to sound like a kid, which they used in the first 30 seconds of the trailer. Is that broccoli? No, that's vomit, but I understand the confusion. But thankfully, uh, they listened to that and said, uh, no, we're good, we're good. Uh, let's just Let's just dub over the actor's performance that he spent, I don't even know how many days in a tight suit with dots around yeah let's just pff, scrap that yeah let's just let's just make it put a 10 year old uh in it and also out of all people why why seth green why seth green of all people because he's short, short? okay okay i don't want to keep on trashing how they made this movie now it's time to actually trash the product that they made oh i was i was supposed to say something positive no well actually I do have one coming, incoming, we, we, incoming, something positive to say about Marcy's Moms from Fan of Films. The score is actually not that bad because the movie starts out with, you know, some shots of Mars seeing like this alien lifestyle and accompanying these shots is a score that isn't bad for a movie like this. It actually works. It just has this nice mysterious kind of space vibe. I don't know how to describe my thoughts on music. I'm not freaking Anthony fan. What up, guys? Anthony 
space Mars Tano here. <laughs> okay, that's that's enough positives. Now it's time to freaking trash this whole movie. Okay, let's see what we got here. Ah. Oh. No, no, no. We're not we're not doing this. We're not doing. I think we're good. I don't Let's just I don't know, review another movie. Hey, hey, hey. What's up guys? Uh back with another video. This time we're reviewing Yogi Bear the movie with Justin Timberlake my dad and dan Aykroyd, my second dad so um honestly dan Aykroyd, even though he's my second dad did a freaking terrible job as yogi bear let me tell you honestly the way he isn't yogi bear and dustin timberlake as my actual dad he's pretty good as boo boo bear and honestly i'm not saying that because he's the one that took custody over me so both my dads said they didn't want me trashing Yogi Bear, the movie that they worked on. So I guess we still have to continue with the Mars Needs Mom review. So where we left off, the aliens, they looked terrifying. But Fan of Films doesn't judge on how people look at all. So let's just let's just hear what these aliens have to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's right you can't understand anything that they're saying because we don't we don't deserve to understand the complexities of this alien language that they're speaking but honestly like they could have they could have at least just put subtitles in like my guy no one's gonna be fact checking what an alien is saying in mars needs moms you might be thinking Fan of films, why are you complaining about one little, little itty bitty little- There's multiple scenes just like this one. I have no idea what they're saying. Can someone please tell me? I need to understand the whole plot and story of Mars Needs Mom. And because they just decided not to put subtitles on it, we have a very vague and basic understanding of what the aliens are doing and what exactly they want because the movie starts out and we have these two aliens and they're looking for moms and we don't know how where they're getting these like satellite shots and how long how long have they been looking for moms and look they have like a, a mini mom o meter type thing and then the aliens find this mom who's telling her son to take out the trash and that means the mom's giving out orders, and that means she's pretty mean. But then they're like, we got, we got the mom. That's her. She freaking tells her son to take out the trash. That's pretty mean, let me tell you. Uh, and then we cut to some new aliens. Oh, it's, it's the humans. Sorry. They look so creepy and unnatural that I thought they were aliens. Um, I thought it couldn't get any worse, but... Mercy's moms proves me wrong once again. So we meet our main characters of the films Milo, a 10 year old little twerp, and Mommy Milo, who Milo thinks is like the worst person in the world. Milo, sweetie, can you get that? I have to do everything around here. Milo is out here complaining that he's doing everything. Like his mom's just cleaning the house and he's like, oh, this, my mom's telling me to pick up the phone. Ah! Freaking mom suck, dude. Bleah. Freaking mom does me need broccoli. Bleah. Freaking sucks. Broccoli sucks, dude. Bleah. I'll feed it to my cat and make a barf. Bleah. And that's basically Milo's whole character. And the thing is with that is that we don't care at all about Milo because... Like, I see what they're trying to do, like the kid, he doesn't love his mom, but then when he goes to Mars to save her, he then ends up realizing 
that he actually loves his mom. So Milo, uh, his mom gets abducted by aliens in the middle of the night, and then he runs out, and then he, as a little dummy, dumb, dumb Kyle as he is, gets abducted by aliens, and he is more interested in the fact that he is in a cool little spaceship rather than the fact that he and his mom are in a spaceship getting abducted by aliens. I'm in a spaceship. Wow. And then he goes to Mars and then he hops down a trash chute because a voice told him to. And then Milo, he meets some aliens that live in the trash world and he's like, oh, can you find my mom? And they don't know what a mom is because their little dumb, dumb little alien brains don't understand moms. And then he's like, he's telling them and- My mom, she's the one that feeds me. She feeds me. Whoa. Oh, snap. Snap, dude. Milo's busting down some of the biggest moves I've ever seen. Like, do you see this stuff, dude? Like, she feeds me, dude. Vacuums the house. Ooh. It's launchy. So after Milo desperately attempts to dance his mom's whole daily routine, he then meets Jack Black on a budget. <laughs> Like, it literally seems like this character was written for Jack Black. Like, the way this character delivers his jokes and is all like, Bleh, what's up, bro? Like, bleh. How about I call you my bro? Check it. But of course, we find out this guy, Jack Black, on a budget, is named Gribble. What a cool name. Very cool and unique. And of course, Gribble has to have a cool, iconic kind of catchphrase line thing. So when things are pretty cool and dope, is Gribbletastic. This is gonna be Gribbletastic. Yeah, that's what, that's what the kids want, you know? Yeah, Gribbletastic. And now Gribble lets Milo know on everything that's going down on Mars because Gribble's lived here for like 30 years and he knows like, oh yeah, so so Mars, they need their moms because the dudes are hugging and loving each other and this wrinkly little overlord alien hates love and she likes order but she needs more people in charge so they take mommies from earth and then they brainwash them remove their memories and then they're just mindless robots for aliens and that's what's gonna happen to milo's mom so trash eating jack black and milo they come up with a plan that they're gonna save milo's mom and you know milo they get them all dressed up as an alien undercover and you think it's gonna be good but gribble is like uh you know what i'm gonna actually hijack this plan uh so that milo does get in trouble but then i'm gonna save him and make him come back to trash land and then we can just be chilling and be bros and i can hang out with him for the rest of eternity which is like that's kind of a dick move honestly gribble like Milo's out here like trying to save his mom and all you care about is hanging out? Does Gribble not know the motto? Mothers before fake brothers, dude, come on. But the plan, Gribble thinks it's gonna turn out, you know, but it doesn't. And then he gets in trouble, Milo gets in trouble, and then he almost dies from falling out a window. But then some alien that's spray painting saves him. So that's pretty Gribble-tastic, honestly. But this alien, like you think, it's gonna be a bad alien because aliens are bad, right? But no, this alien, she's actually pretty cool. She's a rebel alien. And this alien actually knows English. She can actually speak fluent English. Mellow out, man. I'm not the fuzz. And you're probably wondering, uh, how, how does that work? It's obviously because she, she watched one episode of a 60s hippie sitcom show. Like, I understand, like, you could learn phrases and stuff like that, but learning a whole language, fluent, speaking fluently, because when she talks to Gribble and Milo, she, she, she's not, she does, she understands the whole thing. With that logic, like, I think we need, I think we should learn something from this alien key as she goes by. Like, imagine if teachers used this way of, like, teaching different languages. Okay, class, so uh, today in our Spanish class, we're going to be watching Pan's Labyrinth, a Spanish movie, but we're not going to put subtitles on. So let's let's watch it, okay? But we watched this movie um, 67 other times, and I have no clue what's going on. And we will watch it another 67 more times until you understand 
the Spanish language and speak it fluently. So Gribble does get saved by Milo, and it's pretty Gribble-tastic, let me tell you, but then we learn the sad truth about Gribble, that his past is not that Gribble-tastic, because Gribble's mom actually got abducted, and he went with her as a child the same way that Milo did. It's a sad moment because, you know, we're learning about Gribble's past, but I just love the comebacks that Gribble still has. Like, this is the one that chose my mom. I know, Gribble. It happened to me the same way. No, you don't know. How could you possibly know? I was a good kid. I did my chores. I did as I was told. You know, Milo's just trying to sympathize with Gribble, but Gribble's like, uh, no, you don't understand. I was actually, my mom actually tolerated me, and I wasn't a little, little twerp to my mom, and I actually respected her, dude. And it's supposed to be an emotional scene, like, Gribble, after telling the story, he's like, you know what? We're actually gonna save your mom. So it's supposed to be, you know, emotional that Gribble's coming back to terms that, you know, he has to save Milo's mom, and it's supposed to be, you know, good job, Gribble, but it's not, because Gribble all along knew what it felt like to have your mom basically, like, die, but he's like, Milo, uh, chill with me and play some video games, dude. Gribble's not being a better person, he just has stopped being so ignorant and selfish for once. Distracting. Subject will be terminating. Oh, that. Terminating. Terminating? Terminating. I love that movie. Hey, you know what? Let's, uh, let's go. I want to show you something cool. Then Key, the pomegranate looking alien, shows up and uh, they force a weird romance between her and Gribble. You can change color. What? That is also bad. <laughs> I, don't, I don't like that one bit. Oh, what's up? What? I don't. I don't think I ordered a, a super cliche ending. No, I think you're, wait, wait a second. Oh, oh yeah, that was, that was, that was for me. Sorry about that. Yeah, I did order a super cliche ending because this movie has the most cliche movie ending that you could ask for. And it's played in the most cliche way ever because, you know, we have the group teaming up and using their special abilities. Check. And then the plan seems like it's going along well, but then the evil big baddie comes up and ruins the plan. Check. Then he, the pomegranate looking alien, tells the wrinkly raisin looking alien that you're wrong, uh, you should love people. She tells the whole alien society that this wrinkly raisin alien has been lying to us. She's been putting the men in the trash chute because she thinks men are trash because they love each other. And then she's like, guys, this is what love is, this is what family is. And then the mom is just like chilling in the back like, okay, um, can we go, can we go home now? The bachelorette starts at seven and... Can we, can we wrap this can we wrap this whole uh saving the alien society up because i kind of want to get out of here you know what i'm saying but then nobody cares that key is trying to save the alien society and it stays the same way key dies and then milo and his mom are forced back into this alien society just kidding what you th you think this was going to be an actual like interesting movie no 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 we have to keep it the most cliche way possible so of course the alien society after listening to a random alien say one thing they're like yeah let's just let's kill our guys uh let's now listen to this person and of course the mom and milo go home and they're happily ever after and then gribble and the pomegranate looking alien of course they did yeah. you know i don't I'm not here to judge. This channel isn't about judgment at all. And even though I'm I'm wondering how that that works, how that's gonna work out, I don't wanna judge Gribble. You know, Gribble, you do you, my man. Uh but just keep in mind that TLC is probably gonna call you uh to be on one of their weird shows. So keep that in mind. But at the end of the day, even though it does have cringy caricatures of stereotypical characters from other movies and TV shows, and it does have some off-putting CGI that really has not aged well, and it does have the most paint-by-number story that you could possibly think of for a movie like this, and characters that 
they don't really learn anything at the end of the day other than to maybe love your mom a bit more. Oh, I'm supposed to say something positive? Well, shoot, I don't have anything positive to say to end it off. So, uh, that's it. That That's the end. But, you know... Don't don't take it just from me because I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure other people must have at least liked it. Like this probably made a lot of money, right? What? I'm surprised that this didn't make any money. Even like a a stupid little trend hasn't come out of it like the freaking bird box they made the bird box challenge and like i'm even surprised like they like no one has ever made like a my mom got abducted by aliens at 3 a.m challenge like that's it uh what's up guys welcome to my 3 a.m challenge we're, we're gonna be uh seeing if we can get Aliens from Mars to come to come into the house. We're gonna see if we can uh, get them in. Uh, right oh, is that? And th this guy, he come here, come here, come here, everybody. This guy's gonna be our mom. I just not not really. You're not. Don't worry. You're not gonna be the uh, our actual mom. But like, like you, this guy is gonna be pretending to be my mom. And this pizza is terrible. Let me tell you. Do not go to that pizza place. It is honestly the worst. Okay, so come. You still have to pay for that. No, I. I will give you three times more if you be my mom. Okay, guys. So it is three a.m. Uh, cut to the clock cam. Hey, son. Uh, do you want to play Monopoly? I'm going to destroy you in Monopoly. So let's let's get this let's just, let's get this going, okay? Mom, mom, this is my mom. Okay, aliens trying to ab abduct uh, hey, my mom. Hey man, uh, What's up? What's up? When am I getting paid for this? And how much are you paying me for this? Hmm? I. How much are you paying me? We'll for talk this? later. We'll, we're playing Monopoly, okay? How about whoever wins Monopoly gets money? You said you'd give me money no matter what, though. I didn't. Pinky promise, so doesn't count. Uh, oh, hey, uh, what, not, what am I getting paid for this? Are you getting paid yet? Well, How much? Twenty. Uh, here you go. Uh, you said you'd pay me. Can we get a monopoly money cam on this, please? Forty. You 50. can see he is paying the pizza guy right there. Yep. There's a lot of money. How do we monopoly? How do you play Monopoly? Uh, yeah. You don't know how to play Monopoly. And you don't know how to be my mom, okay? Stop not... making fun of me. So, how do we... How do... how do you not know how to play Monopoly? Stop making fun of me. Cut. Cut the cameras, guys. Yeah, I guess. Cut the yeah. If you don't stop making fun of me, I will report that you are a terrible pizza man, and you will get zero's monies. Uh, you're paying me in Monopoly money. And you're not a real mom, okay? So you're, you're my imaginary mom, you get imaginary money. That's how it works. You said, okay, you can turn the cameras on? Alright. Uh, yeah. it, it was it was off, right? You turned yeah, it on? Yeah, it was off. Okay, good. What are you thinking? Yeah, okay. Forever. <laughs> yeah. So, <clears throat> Monopoly time. Collect money, 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 money. Okay. I win. I'm gonna. I'm just gonna go. No. no. Just, Guys, what, what's I'm happening? Just, I'm just gonna. What's he doing? Uh, you can't go. I made a barricade. Dude, I think I actually so, want to go now too. Like, yeah, can like, I go up? Yeah, I think like this is, I just, like, this is getting kind of weird. Like the aliens will come. I'm not joking this around. Is about aliens? Have you not seen Mars Needs Moms? What's Mars Needs Moms? I thought I was here for a professional photo shoot. That's what I was calling for. Camera on me. Camera on this dumb little loser. This guy's getting scammed. Not getting real money. Yeah, I think, I think too. See you later. Yeah. 
You know what I did? It doesn't matter. You know that I'll always be there. Storm's crazy, and you know it. That's how I show you that I care. You know what I did? It doesn't matter. You know that I'll always be there. Storm's crazy, and you know it. That's how I show you that I care. Whatever I did, girl, forget about it. Whatever I say, girl, just forget about it. Whatever I do. If you made it this far, you suck, and I hate you as a person. JK, dude. It's all good. We love each other here on the channel.